And now let's focus on the upcoming Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APAC, meeting. Experts say the APAC meeting in Beijing is expected to produce tangible outcomes and achieve greater regional economic integration. With the theme, Shaping the Future Through Asia-Pacific Partnership, China has laid out several areas to focus on during this year's APEC gathering, including trade and investment integration, innovation, inclusive growth, and connectivity. Russell Green, professor of Rice University, said the reform has been a useful platform to create good ideas on trade and integration. And it has also been a useful part of the Asia-Pacific region. I think from the U.S. perspective, it's really uh, still a very valuable forum. It's the premier forum for discussing economic integration and cooperation in Asia, in the Asia-Pacific region. Um, and uh, you really see that in the enthusiasm for senior economic officials uh, who participate on a regular basis in the APEC meetings. Green also said the meeting will help promote economic and interconnected development of the architecture in the Asia-Pacific region. Well, I think, you know, the APEC uh, meetings, the most valuable part of the meetings is often the conversations that happen on the sidelines where the, the, um, the meetings provide a great forum for more relaxed discussion among senior officials on really important uh, topics that still align with the core goal of APEC, which is opening uh, more open and more free trade and investment. Um, a lot of these conversations are happening on the sidelines that help, com uh, help officials see eye to eye on a way forward to move towards greater economic integration. Um, and uh, so those, those conversations really only take place because APEC is there and bringing everybody together to focus on these topics. Vishnu Wardhana, co-chairman of APEC Business Advisory Council, or ABAC, in Indonesia, agreed with Green. Uh, first, I think um, our overall architecture uh, integration is, is an important uh, factor. The second one is our ability to readjust our growth model and undertake a structural reform. Um, and the last one is um, we must invest in on our soft and hard infrastructure uh, in order for us to be able to continue the growth um, and expanding connectivity in a very uh, comprehensive way. Both of them said so China has great capacity to potentially help bridge the financing gap in the area. But, you know, the, the, the rise of China has been part of um, a bigger phenomenon, which is just the, the phenomenal growth in Asia in general, phenomenal increase in the integration of the Asian economy to the rest of the global economy. And so if you're an, uh, uh, representing an economy in North America or South America, APEC has been a great place to take advantage of some of that dynamism that's taking place in Asia. So it's been uh, really the, the dynamic growth of a lot of the different Asia, uh, APEC economies has helped APEC stay relevant in the sense that it has um, had a very dynamic membership that's made its agenda relevant even if it's operating in a low-key fashion. Uh, China will continue to play a um, very important and um, critical role in the many years to come. Um, China will continue as, um, as an engine for growth uh, as well as um, any initiative to promote uh, to promote growth, um, to promote the development as well as development through uh, cooperation. The experts said APEC should continue to bring diverse economies together to deepen economic integration in a region.